ladies and gentlemen. My name is Allison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you back to Kirby Superstar Ultra. Last time we just finished off Milky Way Wishes, which was a little bit of time ago. But you know what? It's time to um, finish up all the content that was available on the original SES version by completing the arena. Next time we'll get into Revenge of the King, which is pretty badass, but um, the arena is pretty cool. Why can't people stop fighting when the Pink Terror raises his proverbial fist, even the strong tremble in fear? So this is basically a boss gauntlet. And oh boy, is that not the most enticing trophy we've ever seen. Oh my god. Kirby is like ready to rumble, holy smokes. My shirt is like way too small for me right now. I tried to order a new white polo for work and I'm still wearing it and um... It turned out that a medium in Japan is not exactly the same as a medium in the United States. So, I don't know. Um, but, um, the arena is basically the same as it is in most games. You get to choose your ability here at first. And personally, um, I like Hammer. I love Hammer for doing this. It is, in my opinion, probably the best for killing lots of people with. So we're going to go and use that. And I think for the sake of just showing it, we can have our buddy here. And actually, there's something kind of cool I want to show with this. Normally, having your friend isn't very good, but um, you can actually throw this ability away in a really cool way. Just, like, to throw your hammer at people. <laughs> it's not very powerful, but... So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with Camellio Arm. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so having your buddy is decent in having, you know, a little bit of help, but... If anything, he kind of screws you over because every time you hit your opponent, oops, um, then they'll have a couple of frames of invincibility. And if your friend just goes in there with a really light hit, you'll be completely, oh, you'll be completely screwed with your attack. Okay, this is really depressing. This isn't something that is heavily implied here, but we've got ourselves a lone Waddle D. And he goes down just like that. You guys are going to see in Revenge of the King why that's so depressing. Um, anyway, we've got mid-bosses here, so I kind of want to get rid of Bonkers, because he'll probably do it a lot here, like, oh wow, he actually helped there. Uh, these guys you can typically take out in a single hit, but as you guys can tell, when Bonkers just randomly attacks them, um, then they just suck. He was pretty good there, thank you. Hi. Right, okay, let's see. Oh, hey, more sub-bosses. So yeah, you, you did get, uh, mid-bosses for a couple of fights here, so... It's like, you might as well just hit him regularly. Like here, just like, wow, bonkers. And he's gonna probably snipe some more very impressive kills for me. Just like he did with Marks. Superstar. Alright, go away. Ooh. That was a little tougher. Alright, die. Get... Okay, you know what, bonkers? You're you're done. You're done. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of you. You almost killed me against mid-bosses. Come on now. So I wouldn't. Ooh, that's actually a really cool pose. Uh, we're low, low, la, la, la. Um, it's it's probably. Hmm. These guys are actually really easy to fight here as well because you can actually hit through the, the ceiling. That's kind of funny. So I don't know. Hammer is incredibly OP. So just if you're having any difficulty with this whatsoever, go ahead and try it out. It's it will not disappoint. All right, except right there. Hey, hey. <sighs> All right, here. Ugh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Ooh, and we've got uh, Twin Woods. I still don't need to heal, even though I have about a fifth of my health left. See, like here against these guys, it's just two two charge smashes and you're good. Oh, go away, apples. Apples to apples. Pears to pears. Sweet. So that was no issue. And ooh, Wham Bam Rock. We might need a little bit of health for this one. Wham Bam Rock is probably the most annoying person in the arena just because he's ridiculously unpredictable, especially with a buddy. Uh, just keep in mind that having, you know, I forgot what to call him in this game, your your partner? I don't know, just make sure that you're being really careful with them because they like to ruin ruin multiple hits. Alright, get out of here, Master Hand. Wow, that rock did a lot of damage to me. Alright, and you're dead. Wham Bam Rock is no Noah beautiful stuff. So, um, we've got Heavy Lobster next. Um, today is, what is today? It has just turned December 16th, and, um, I just want to let you guys know in advance, depending on whatever few scarce viewers I have left, um, 
I've actually completed Pikmin in its entirety. It is about uh, 49 parts, with 49th being the second finale. <laughs> and I also finished about, what, maybe 14 episodes of uh, Challenge Mode. And god damn it, Meta Knight. Okay, this is a good one for a buddy in all honesty. Just so that he can be a distraction. Or I might have to sacrifice him before before the fight's over so I can get hammer back, but I hate this fight because it's mandatory to pick up the sword. So, hmm. But uh, he's a lot easier in this one than he is in Revenge of Meta Knight, so. But I say that as he's kicking both of our asses. All right, you know what? No, you don't get that. So yeah, I'm extremely ahead in Pikmin 2, and um, I actually don't need to record any more of it unless I want to do two-player. Challenge mode has been 100%ed and finished, and I'm kind of glad about that because now I can finish up the Swapper in Kirby Ultra before, you know, the year's end, if anything. So you guys will be getting a couple videos, two videos a day every so often. That was actually really nice. As far as I was able to do that with such a calm demeanor. <laughs> Fatty Whale, I'm almost dead, but we should probably get just a little bit of health. There we go. So depending on your maximum tomato situation, uh, they will leave behind just regular ass tomatoes. Just regular hothouse Roma Reds. So, yeah, Fatty Whale isn't too bad. Um, so I'm probably not going to be showing the bottom screen here, but it actually shows some really cool um, illustrations for each of the bosses. Um, and you'll get a better illustration for those in a different mode. But for the most part, I mean, I'm just... The bottom screen is really redundant. It shows a timer, because we're being timed on this. And that's how it, the game determines your ranking, is how fast you can beat it. But of course, since, you know, these flows of bosses are completely random um, that might also help as well and we've got oof, the Ryakta Core. this is actually really good not to have a buddy on either as you guys remember from from our walk through there and so there you go and I think this one actually takes only three hits to take out that's pretty nice a nice little flamethrower from the floor that's a very practical application of things All right cool so let's wait for this one more time shall we Come on, come on. Aim for me. There we go. And... What?! What do you mean that missed? Are you kidding me? Why did that miss? Why was... Oh my god. And of course that can get you while you're crouching. Alright game. You know what? You're disappointing me really badly right now. You're making me so sad. Uh, so remember this is in Superstar Ultra. Or in Superstar, regular ass Superstar. The reason why we're doing it here is for, you know... A myriad of reasons and of course those can hit me while I'm on the ceiling All right, can we just finish this up please what do you why did you aim there why did you... this is a train wreck this is an absolute and utter train wreck this is what happens when I record after getting off of work All right, I'm gonna have to probably have a maximum tomato after this you know just want to get rid of this and here just destroy it please this was abysmal Oh my god. Alright, what do we got? We got Dynabird. Not gonna bother with the helper here. Unless there's a hammer and there's a, a way I can find our helper. That's what they call him, helper. Because, you know, hero, helper to hero. Um, because of just, you know, they just can distract them and ugh, not really bother us. But I would still like to hold on to hammer. Because it's just the greatest item, most OP item in Kirby history. Unless you're talking about fighter in Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Case that might be a close contender for second, but we have Krako, easy peasy. Turns out in the uh, Ultra version, the DS version of this game, you can actually hit the charge shot from the ground on this guy. It's kind of funny. Like, oops, well that kind of missed, but there we go. Look at that! I did half of his health with one thing. All right, here you're dead. You're dead, Jala man. I barely touched you. You're just a cloud in the sky with a single all seeing eye. You're gonna, ooh, King Dedede, I'll probably kill you. Oh, and there's Hammer there. I could have probably had a helper. That's okay. We can actually take out King DDD really easily. Every single hit you give him with a hammer, regardless of its strength, will stun him like that. It'll make him change his attack animation, and he's really easy. <laughs> oh, King DDD. How, how, how the mighty have fallen. Wow. Wispy Woods. The very first boss comes in fifth from the end. That's amazing. Alright, we took out two of you. What makes you think I'm not going to be able to take you out by myself? He didn't even spawn a single weapon. Oh, great. The Galactic Nova Nucleus. This one's a little bit annoying. Uh, we only saw this in uh, 
on the, uh, I guess, I'm just gonna call it the SNES version, even though it is ported to the to the Wii, and that's the version we recorded, but I'm just gonna call it the SNES version. There we go. Oop, 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 oop. Right, destroy. Destroy, man. Destroy cannon. Buster cannon. So this is pretty cool. Um, as you can tell, it's a little bit darker than than the SNES version, but I still like it all the same. There's just some certain areas I didn't really get behind. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, how much health did that one have? Look at He's hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Of course, now we gotta wait like 30 seconds to go all the way back around so we can have another crack at this ass, so. Are we good? Are we almost good? Thank you. Good enough for me. Alright, let's get out of here. It's really easy to get through that without taking any damage on the uh, DS version, so. And we've got, ooh, main cannon number two. I might need to grab a little bit of extra health for this one. Although it's not really that bad. Alright, so, wow! I took a cannon to the face immediately, oh my god. Alright, well, I guess we can probably just get rid of this gun. This one I know for sure you can get under. Actually, I don't think you even have to duck. Yeah, just keep attacking it. This hand's gonna be really irritating, though. Ooh, die, yeah! Alright, get this hand out of the way. If the hand grabs you while that bottom cannon is still in intact, or that beam laser thing, uh, he'll actually hold you in front of it while it's shooting, and it's literally the worst. Why would you do that? It's depressing. And our second to last boss is, of course, the computer virus. The final boss in uh, the arena will always be Marks. So, you know, let's see what we got. We've got ourselves and this Mr. Magician Man. How's it going? You're dead in a single hit. Each one of these power shots does 80 HP to these guys, so we will barely not be able to get this guy. Yep. He's hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Wow, he, he used Swift Evil Knight. He's not very effective against Kirby. All right, cool. And now we've got ourselves lovely Mr. Dragon here. Bruce Singer, or no, what was eldest? I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I've read the Inheritance Trilogy that I don't even... It was like, later or something. I don't know. I'm I'm just spewing nonsense that comes out of my mouth at 4 in the morning. <laughs> Hooray, I beat the dragon. The dragon has been defeated. And last but not least, we've got ourselves Mr. Marks. And I guess we'd probably take him on ourselves. We don't really even need another Maximum Tomato, but just to stay on the safe side. <sighs> Alright, Marks, that's yeah, still... So... It's you and me, I'm not gonna die to you this time because I didn't have to go through two other levels before fighting you, alright? Plus I have hammer, so... You're pretty much guaranteed an instantaneous and, uh, very blunt death. Right, please, go... Gad. Here, go, go! Ugh! Alright, well he's just gonna, he's gonna use leech seed, I guess. Ooh. God, I can't get over how great this game looks. Like, you already thought, like, Kirby Superstar looked amazing. This game, like, does it justice? Ah, uh, god, I swear. And, oh, he's almost dead. He uses Leech Seed again. But of course, it's not very effective because, well, the first one was still in effect. Alright, then you're dead. Didn't even take any damage. That last maximum tomato I took was completely redundant. But with that, it took us 9 minutes and 17 seconds to beat it. If you guys can beat my score, go ahead and send in the video responses. I'll watch them all and. I will critique myself on what can be done to improve, but upon beating the arena, we actually have Helper to Hero, easily my least favorite addition to this game, and also, ooh, um, we got ourselves uh, the Nostalgic Megaton Punch. We'll be detailing that later, along with Gourmet Race, and what was a ninja thing. But Helper to Hero is basically the same as the arena, however, you have, you have to use every single helper at least once, and you have to use each ability and defeat 13 enemies with that ability but with all the abilities in order to unlock the final mode so next time on kirby superstar ultra we're gonna be heading off into the beginning of brand new content in this game which is revenge of the king be prepared for some shit ladies and gentlemen because by god you're not gonna be disappointed talk to you guys next time